You guys are gonna love this tuna sandwich cake. You wanna try something new today? With just a little bit of slicing, a little bit of chopping, we're gonna create this delicious tuna sandwich cake. Woo! Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie Cooks. If you have not already, please subscribe, smash that bell so you be notified every time I upload a fabulous recipe. Today, we're gonna be making a tuna cake. Yes, a tuna cake. Please kindly share your thoughts in the comment section below. I read all comments. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It encourages me to make more videos. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Jackie Cooks. We're gonna start off by putting in one fourth cup of shredded Gouda cheese. Next, we're gonna add in one fourth cup of boiled egg whites chopped. Next, we're gonna add in one fourth cup of water chestnuts chopped. Next, we're adding in 15 ounces of tuna drain. You cannot have tuna without adding freshly ground black pepper. Yes. And of course, we're gonna add in a dash of salt. One fourth cup of dill pickle relish. You can use sweet pickle relish if you like. One half to three fourth cup of your favorite mayonnaise. Guess what? You can also use salad dressing. At this time, we're going to incorporate all the flavors and mix well and make sure they are well blended. Always do a taste test before you put your cake together to make sure it's perfect. Oh, this tastes so good. You guys have to make this. We're going to cut the crust off of 12 slices of bread. You could use any kind of bread you want. Rye bread, sourdough bread, whole wheat bread. Comment below, what is your favorite bread? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and lay down four slices of bread and we're gonna spread out our tuna mixture over it and start putting our cake together. We're gonna add four additional bread slices on top of that and we're gonna cover our cake with our frosting. Easiest cake you've ever made. Okay, let's go ahead and cut our two boiled eggs in half. We're gonna smash our two egg yolks with our fork until they are well smashed. And once they are well smashed, we're gonna add in our dill. Now you can use fresh dill if you like, but I didn't have any at this time. And I did also add some more dill and I added some more dill. Let's go ahead and see what it tastes like, guys. Let's taste. Mm. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna press our egg mixture on all four sides of the cake. We're just gonna press that in and this is what it's gonna look like. At this time, we're just gonna place our cheese on top Looks like coconut. <laughs> Actually, you could decorate your cake any way you want to. We added tomatoes and we added green onions. This cake is good for baby showers, potlucks, any kind of celebration, and it is always served cold. This cake is so tasty, so delicious, and so easy to make. It is good. Check out my other videos. Share this video with your family. Share this video with your friends. Thanks so much for watching.